hello and welcome to a new video and to my kitchen so today i wanted to talk a lot about meal preparation so why am i meal prepping meal prepping is something that is on my goals list um for this year it was one of my intentions and something that i really thought would benefit my life honestly there are days where luke and i don't eat because we haven't prepared our food because we don't want to spend money or we'll spend too much money on food because we didn't bring food with us to work. And there are days where I don't eat because I don't have the energy to cook. So the idea of bulk making my food and then freezing it so that we'd have sort of like a, a, a stock of ready to eat meals really excites me because I know that it's gonna make such a difference to our days and our life and we're gonna have more energy and be looking after ourselves a lot more than we usually are. The particular tip that I wanted to share with you was one that I learned from the YouTube channel Girl Gone Green and she made a lot of like meal prep meals but she stored them in jars and I just thought it was such a genius idea because I've been keeping jars for a very long time. I have a lot because I'm a bit obsessed with them but they were just sitting around for me to use them so I used them for our food and it's made honestly such a difference we have a tiny freezer and it's just such a good use of your space because you can fit like four jars which are four meals along the side and then more this way and it's just really space saving so use your jars like people may tease you at work for being a hipster or whatever but who cares like i think it's so clever and so zero waste um, and I just love it so I wanted to share that little tip with you the only thing you have to do is you have to make sure that your jar cools down completely that your food is completely cold before you put it in the freezer and that you allow space between the top of the lid because um, water and liquids they expand if you don't allow space it will explode so this is one of the meals it's a chili and on the top we have our rice so that we can eat the rice um, and then you literally can either eat it out of the jar or tip it into um, a bowl at work and you just pull it out of the freezer in the morning and you let it defrost throughout the day and then by the time it's lunchtime it's ready to eat it's just in an old pasta jar and honestly it's such a great idea so Without further ado, let's get into the recipes. I ended up making three different meals for this bunch of food preparation that I did. Um, so let's get into it. <laughs> the first recipe is from One Part Plant by Jessica Murnane, and it is this roasted potato corn and link chowder. The first thing you have to do is cut up your potatoes and then put them in the oven to roast. While those are in the oven, you cut up your leeks. You need two leeks and then two cloves of garlic. You just want to saute the leeks and then prepare your other ingredients, which is corn and coconut milk. After the leeks have been sauteing for about five minutes, you add the corn and the garlic and saute for another three to five. After they're cooked, transfer about a third into a separate bowl and leave the rest on the heat. Add in your coconut milk. Mix, 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 mix. By this point, your potatoes should be done. Pull those out of the oven, put some of them into the reserve that you've left and then tip the rest into your little coconutty, creamy as mixture. And that's it. You're going to also need two cups of veggie broth Add more veggie broth depending on how thick you want it. Let your mixture cool down a little bit before we blend it up. Tip it into your blender along with the veggie broth and then blend it up so you get a nice smooth texture. <laughs> Once you've tipped it into your jars, add the stuff that you left over, the reserve, because it adds a nice bit of texture rather than just kind of eating sludge. And that's it! It was quite delicious and it would be really nice with like bread. The next recipe is from Deliciously Ella Every Day and it's this chickpea, quinoa and turmeric curry. The very first thing you're going to have to do is place your potatoes in cold water and bring them to a boil for about 25 minutes. While you're doing that, you can cut up your garlic and prepare your other ingredients. You're going to need three teaspoons of ground turmeric, one teaspoon ground coriander, one teaspoon chili flakes or powder, one teaspoon ground ginger, and then coconut milk, tomato puree, chopped tomatoes, 
You bring all of that to a boil and then add the quinoa. Over the next 30 minutes, stir every five minutes or so. This recipe takes a while, but it's just how long it takes to cook the quinoa in the coconut milk. Halfway through the cooking, you add in your chickpeas. Once the quinoa has cooked, it should be fluffy, not crunchy. And then you add your spinach just before it's ready, about five minutes. This recipe ended up serving six, and it was a lot, and it was delicious and very filling and nutritious. The next recipe is from Deliciously Alla's very first book and that's the black and kidney bean chili. I kind of just used whatever beans I had. So the first thing you're going to have to do is cook up your rice, which I have a rice cooker and it's genius. The awesome thing about chilies is that they're super easy to make. You literally just throw everything into a pot. So we're going to need two carrots grated, two cloves of garlic peeled and crushed put it into a large saucepan and then you have to add your other ingredients. So tip your passata in and your chili flakes and then make sure you rinse your beans. I think I ended up using a whole random mix of beans, three tins or something. So I tip those into the mixture, chuck it on the element and you just let it cook up. Before it was finished I added peas because I just really love peas and it was Splendid. It was really good. It had a kick to it, but not too much, and it made a lot. Like the recipe says, it serves four, but whatever I made, we we ate it for weeks. And then you just add the rice to the top of the jar, and you're done. You can chuck it in your freezer and call it a day. So those are all the meal prepping that I did on that day. I also did a whole ton of baking as you can see in the corner but I didn't share the baking recipes in this video. It's really handy to cook things in advance. Once everything is cooled you can put the lids on and then put them into the freezer and then you'll be set for like two weeks or something with great meals to eat and very little preparation needed. It was very satisfying waking up in the morning and then on the way to work just grabbing a pre-made meal like it was, it was pretty good. And if you have any tips for meal preparation or food storage that's more along the lines of zero waste I would love to hear them because I'm always I'm still learning about this stuff and I really want to go more eco-friendly in our household and more leaning towards zero waste or low waste. So if you do have any tips, let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!